Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a giant iMats haul for you all. I went to iMats for the first time this year and I had such an incredible time. I just really think it's beautiful how the beauty community can really unite to create such an amazing event. So if you ever have the chance to go to iMats, I highly, highly recommend it. So today I just wanted to show you all the amazing things I picked up from a bunch of brands I've either never seen before or never tried in their products before. So I'm really excited to introduce to you hopefully some new brands so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna to try to show you guys all of these products in kind of an organized fashion. I think I'm gonna start it with brands and just like move through each of the brands I picked up. I did pick up a huge amount of lip products though, so we're gonna start off with some of those and get those out of the way before I move on to some of the other products. So the first brand I'm gonna show you today is Dose of Colors. So I've actually never tried any products from this brand, but I was really, really excited to see their whole line. And so the first product I, or the only product I picked up was um, this Dose of Color liquid lipstick in the shade Truffle. And this is a, let's see, kind of a mauve rosy pink shade. It's, I was going for more of a nude of, out of their range. I just feel like I really needed to build up my neutral tones and my lip, liquid lipsticks. And I think it's just a really beautiful formula as well. It's kind of moussey, which I tend to enjoy those formulas, the more moussey ones opposed to the really, really liquid ones because I don't think they're so drying. So I'm really, really excited to try this guy out. And the Dose of Colors was really kind. They gave a lot of their customers some little freebies. So these are two of the freebies I picked up. And the first one is a gloss. So this is their Infinitely Pink Gloss. And I haven't played around with this, but it's a it's a very classic gloss. So it's a clear gloss with a pink tint and some suspended shimmer, it looks like, in it. If you can see it right here. Well, I can see it being a lot of fun to wear for events or like over a bright pink lip or something really fun. So that was exciting. And then lastly, they threw this little goodie in here and it's a their Cha Cha Pink Lipstick. And so again, in a very cool tone, like Barbie pink color, but I really do think it's quite a beautiful color. So it's right here. It's like cooler toned pink. It kind of reminds me of Mac Snob a little bit, but it's definitely a creamier formula. It doesn't look like a matte lipstick or anything. It's definitely a creamier formula, which I really do enjoy. So I'm excited to try that one out. So the next brand I'm going to talk about is actually one of my favorite brands, and they just have recently released a whole bunch of products that I've been dying to get my hands on and a few of them are some of these new liquid lipstick like lip paint so this is L'Oreal so I was really excited I got to get my hands on three shades of these so the first one is this red shade and this is in the shade DIY red which is the shade I'm wearing on my lips today and I love the formulas of this so it's like a liquid lipstick but it doesn't have a matte finish which is something that's not very common on the beauty market right now, but it's a formula that I really do love. And the best way to describe it is the name. It feels very much almost like paint when you apply it on your lips. It's very thick and glossy, but very, very comfortable to wear. And then once you get used to it, like I don't feel like I'm wearing anything at all. And it's thick enough so it doesn't move around the lips. It's not like a gloss, it slips and slides. It really does stay in place. And it definitely wears. So like for example, I ate right before this video and I had to reapply it. And it's just a really beautiful product. And I can see this or myself getting a lot of wear out of this. So I've got, I was lucky enough to get this red DIY red shade, this cool coral shade, and this lilac lust shade. So I'll swatch all three of these guys for you. So the first one is the DIY Red. Then the second one is this coral orange shade right here. Really beautiful shade, a true orange. Less coral than it is orange, but I love my orange shade. And then this lilac-y purple shade, which is definitely out of my comfort zone, but you know, if you really wanna go out there with your lipsticks, this range has an incredible amount of just really out there lipstick colors. I think they have a blues, possibly a green, a lot of deep purple shades. I actually, when I tried out this formula last night, I fell in love with it so much that I went online and I bought three more, but beautiful, beautiful products. The next brand I have products to show you for is NYX, so, or NYX, whatever you wanna call it. So the first thing I wanted to pick up was their lingerie liquid lipsticks. Again, obviously I'm a liquid lipstick kind of like 
trend. I really wanted to try a bunch. So this one's in the shade Bustier and or Bustier. I'm not quite sure, but it's this kind of mauvey brownie taupe shade. And hopefully the camera's not washing that out. But it's really a beautiful shade. It's a little bit more of an umph than a neutral. But I think it'd be such a beautiful winter shade. Which is why I picked it up. Because I had so many bright colorful shades that were, you know, being incorporated into my liquid lipstick collection. So I wanted something a little bit more neutral and more natural. So more of a traditional liquid lipstick formula. But very, very excited to get some wear out of this one. Two more lip products from NYX are their Suede Matte Lip Liners. So I love the NYX lip liners, and so I wanted to pick up red and an orange, and so the red shade is called Kitten Heels, and I will swatch that right here for you guys. And then this orange shade is called Orange County, and that guy is right there. So just very... Um, just standard red and orange shades, which perfectly match those new L'Oreal lip paints, which is great. But I just wanted some just staple bright colors of liquid or lip, lip liners in my collection. And these suede matte lip liners are not super like chalky or matte. They go on really nice and smooth and they blend into the lips well. So they look like they're going to be like really amazing liners. So the last NYX product I picked up was the Angel Veil. And I've heard a lot of just hype around this product and I've honestly always wanted to try it and but I guess what pushed me over the edge is I heard a comparison to this one to the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer that, that really hyped up Hourglass Primer that I've always wanted to try but it has a hefty price tag so, but I applied this under my makeup today and it's really quite a beautiful primer a very like traditional silicone pore minimizing feel primer and it just my makeup went on really smoothly and beautifully, but this one so far has lasted and it looks beautiful on the skin, so I've enjoyed this one. More lip products, I know. So now we're moving on to MAC. And the first one I picked up was traditionally a MAC lipstick. I love the MAC lipstick formulas. And this is the color Impassioned. So I really wanted something bright and just one of those well-known bright lipsticks from MAC, and I just thought this one would be so beautiful in spring and summer. I just thought this one would look really fun and be really just beautiful hot pink shade. So go ahead and swatch this one for you guys. And this is just a very much of a hot pink, straight up hot pink color. It's a beautiful glossy finish. It's one of their amplified lipsticks, which I really love that particular formula of the MAC lipsticks. I just thought it'd be a lot of fun, and the glossy finish on a bright, color is one of my favorite ways to wear like a bright red or bright pink so I'm really really excited to get some wear out of this this spring. So the next product in MAC was actually this really sweet gift that they were giving to a lot of their customers and this is their Velvet Ease lip pencil in the shade Ready to Go which is this just bright classic red shade which I can never have too many of and this is a really beautiful kind of cool toned purpley berry red which is perfect for this time of year. I love wearing red lips in the winter especially the cool tone ones I just think they're, they're so classic so this is a beautiful um, just lip pencil formula just like fat kind of chubby stick style it's not super matte or super glossy it's just like right there in the middle and it's just looks like it's going to be a really beautiful and wearable formula especially easy to apply on the go so I'm excited about this little guy. Lastly for MAC is a brow product. So this is actually a quite a rage about the product and I really wanted to pick this up because I've been kind of in a brow rut recently and I've just been a little unhappy with the way that I've been doing my brows, a little bit bored and needed a bit of a mix up. So I decided to pick up this classic and this is the MAC Eyebrows Crayon Pour in the color Lingering which is just a very standard shade and it's a little bit of a, let's see, like a cool tone, ashy, brown shade. And I like my eyebrows a little darker than my hair because first of all, it's really easy for them to get lost in the bangs, so they need to be stand out a little bit more. And also I think blondes with darker eyebrows, I think it's a really great look. And so this is the shade of Lingering. It's just a cool tone, like soft brown shade. And it's got a very nice waxy but creamy at the same time formula. And you can really like draw on the individual hairs. And then with a spoolie brush, it 
is enough cream that you can really work it into the eyebrow hairs and make it appear really natural and just blended. So I really enjoyed that or I enjoyed, enjoyed that for when I applied it this morning. But um, it just seems like it's going to be a really beautiful product. So I'm excited to try this out and let you know more about it and if I get along with it or not later. So the next brand that I picked a few products up for was a brand that I believed I had never tried before. It's this brand called Chella, and they're primarily an eyebrow bar line. And so I was really excited because, again, I was looking for some brow inspiration. So I sat down and I talked to one of their um, makeup artists who were doing brows, and she filled my brows in and recommended the Beautiful Blonde Eyebrow Color. And this is just a traditional eyebrow pencil. It has like a twist up pencil on this side and then a spoolie on this side and it's kind of a similar to lingering but a little bit more warm a little blonder but still in the ashy range if you can see that right there and it's more of a waxy consistency than lingering from MAC which is nice because it does really help for you to draw in the hairs especially in my sparser areas towards the I guess the front of my eyebrow so I used this again this morning paired with lingering it was really beautiful and then I also picked up the their eyebrow defining gel which is just a traditional clear eyebrow gel nothing super crazy or special haven't tried that one out yet so can't tell you how I feel about it but then when I checked out they were really sweet and gave me a little sample product and that's when I realized I had definitely tried this exact same little um, I guess this is just a lip crayon kind of style in a monthly beauty box that was sent to me and the beauty box is called Lily and I do have two blog posts about two separate boxes down um, on my blog allagray.com so you can check that out and I can throw the links in the description box if you want to see that but I had received this exact same crayon and I always thought it was really sweet and it has a nice kind of like raspberry color with this really just glossy just traditional like chubby stick style formula so I'm excited to be able to try some more products from this brand. It just seems like a really sweet brand with a bunch of really great eyebrow products. Okay, so we are winding down. I promise we have one more, or I guess two more eye products. We have this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, which if you read my blog or watch any of my videos, this is, you probably know, is one of my favorite, favorite mascaras. I'm wearing it today. It's just like very volumizing. It really, you can really work and build the volume like into your lashes easily. It's so beautiful. It has this like, traditional style bristle wand which is my favorite wand for volume and it's just one of my just all-time favorite mascaras so I had to pick up an extra one of these guys so along the same line is I decided to pick up some fake lashes and that is velour so I decided to pick up a pair of their mink lashes so this is their just a very classic kind of winged out style it's a full strip lash and the volume builds towards the edge in like a cat eye effect. So the name of these lashes are Complete Me. And if you were wondering, they are completely cruelty free mink hair. Um, so I was concerned about that. And so I'm really excited to get some wear out of these and hopefully it will just kind of ignite a little more interest in strip lashes for me, but I'm excited for these guys. Last two products, I promise. So again, I really wanted to pick up another staple for me, I picked up the Bobbi Brown Corrector in the shade Porcelain Peach. These are just my number one little like foot soldier against any kind of dark circles under my eyes, which I have quite prominent dark circles. So love, love, love this guy. It's just like a very creamy little concealer that I like to pop up under my eyes after my foundation and before my concealer. Just such a, such a lifesaver. So the last product I picked up was actually a product I've been wanting to try for a long time and I've been really looking for new face powder. So this is the RCMA No Color Powder. Kind of a cult product on YouTube. First of all, it's very affordable. This entire container is $10, which is just amazing. And it looks a little empty, but that's because I depotted some of it and put it into a little container like this so that I could shake it out for easy use. But this is just a no color, just translucent powder that you can set your entire face makeup with. And I applied it today and it went on really beautifully and it didn't change the color of my foundation. So we'll see how this holds up to the test of my crazy oily skin. But so far, so good. Really, really enjoyed it. All right, so that is the end of this huge IMATS haul. Kind of exhausted, just trying to get through that as fast as possible to make this video not 200 years long. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun at IMATS and I just really try to use this experience to just kind of open up my just 
guess my eyes to some different makeup products and different brands that I'd never tried before and different styles and just maybe branch out of my neutral loving traditional makeup self and just add a little more color a little more pop to some of my just normal makeup routines so i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you get the chance to go to imads i highly recommend it and if you enjoyed it then awesome you can also check out my blog if you want to see some more content and i can throw that link down in the description box also you can subscribe to this channel as well i have a bunch of other videos that are just waiting for you to go check them out but thank you guys so so much for watching bye